how are we doing on recruiting, for example, uh, pilots? I know we're having an uh, incredible challenge uh, getting enough uh, pilots and that there's, you know, the commercial sector too is looking for pilots. And we have innovative programs, for example, in Grand Forks at uh, University of North Dakota. We train a tremendous number of pilots at uh, the John D. Odegaard School for Aerospace uh, and Aviation. And so uh, starting maybe with on the Air Force end, but for each of you recruiting um, and, and maybe start with the pilots and, and do we have to get creative in looking for other solutions to help there? For example, uh, maybe partnering with some of our universities on pilot training or some of those kind of things. And so General Engel, you or uh, General Miller, maybe start. Senator Oven, thank you for that question. And uh, like the Air Force, uh, our Air National Guard is experiencing um, issues with uh, maintaining uh, all of our pilots that we need to, uh, to fill up our, our forces part of the Air Force. Um, like uh, General Miller uh, had mentioned, um, full-time pilots are, uh, we are able to maintain full-time pilots in the active guard, the AGR status, the active guard reserve status. Uh, technician full-time pilots are harder. Uh, and and, uh, and, and part-time pilots, uh, we're able right now to retain uh, a huge number of our part-time pilots as, as people leave the active component and go into the airlines, they tend to want to fly uh, in, in the Guard and Reserve as well. So part-time pilots are good. Uh, some of our full-time pilots, uh, though, are, are, harder, are harder to maintain. It is for the first time becoming a problem in the Army. Army Aviation, uh, Army helicopter pilots are now being recruited actively by the airlines and uh, given fixed wing uh, trans uh, uh, courses to become fixed wing pilots. Um, so that will become a draw on the Army National Guard as well. The Customs and Border Protection uh, has responsibility for 900 miles of border out of Grand Forks, all the way from the Great Lakes out through most of Montana. They fly helicopters, they fly fixed wing, they fly unmanned uh, assets, UAS. They have a partner that we just started with them called Pathways, where they partner with the university so that as young people go through their pilot training, they also work for CBP, and then they come out and they have that pilot education. So again, I'm looking for innovative ways to to uh, get after this uh, challenge. And Senator, our chief and secretary are working, are beginning to work and building those relationships with the aviation universities and discussing this at a, at, at a national level. As we all know, this is a national problem. 